Many of us here at WUSA 9 know pretty well the loss, the devastation caused by cancer. Our own Glenn Brenner, the city's best known TV sportscaster, a colleague and friend here at Channel 9, died back in 1992 from the very same aggressive cancer that Senator McCain is now battling. Glenn was only 44 years old. Mary, the father of three young children. He was a great communicator, uh, an incredibly funny guy, and he was also incredibly smart. He was a great athlete. It was after com com completing his second Marine Corps marathon, his second 26.2 mile marathon, that he fell ill. The inoperable brain cancer wasn't discovered until several months later. Glenn's co-anchors were Gordon Peterson and Maureen Bunyan back then. Here's part of what we shared immediately after his passing. Hey, I'm Gordon Peterson. And I'm Maureen Bunyan. We'd like to take one more opportunity to remember our friend and colleague, Glenn Brenner. For nearly 15 years, he sat in that chair next to us. Now he's gone, but he left us with a lifetime of memories. In the next half hour, we'll share some of those memories. The best thing about Glenn, he always left us laughing. <laughs> Veteran cowboy Gerald James is listed in stable condition tonight after getting accidentally stepped on by a 1,600-pound bull at the annual Calgary Stampede. Let's not funny. Him. It's not funny. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's one of those shows. Anyway, hired Lou Pinella, fired Lou Pinella, hired Dallas Green, fired Dallas Green, hired Bucky Dent, fired Bucky Dent, and hired Stump Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. It's just you and I out here right now, big fella. And uh, Sonny's over at his ball, and Tim's over at his ball. And Hi, Hitch. Got some bread right here at. Uh, just let me move that baby up on the grass. What do you think? Nobody's going to know. As you see, he's in the spirit now. He's got no tie. He's got a little cleavage showing over here. He's in Vegas. No cleavage. That's right. He's like an anchor man for SeaWorld, doesn't he? Huh? Where'd you get this? Earl Shide did this? Did he do that to you? My body I don't want to shout this. What? Maureen, get a haircut? Is that speed? 1,500 people turned out for Glenn Brenner's funeral at the National Presbyterian Church, not far from our studios here in Northwest. Presidents George H.W. Bush and Ronald Reagan were among those who sent condolences.